Yo, ladies and gentlemen, what's going on? It's Egal Talks, but we're back again with another video. We got to talk about Mikel Moreno's transfer to Arsenal. It's getting closer and closer. Also, Arsenal Wonder Kid has joined Manchester United, and they have... I, I, I'm triggered. Um, then you also have Eddie Nketiah. There's a bid for Eddie Nketiah. Calafuri is going to be getting his debut versus Liverpool. And are Arsenal even going to strike a striker? Chelsea might get Victor Osimhen. Could we get Victor Jokerez? Let me know what you guys think in the comments. Let's get this show started. Bam. First, I just want to start off by saying hope everyone's doing well. Hope you guys are all doing well. Um, let's get started with the Mikel Moreno news right away. That's the first thing we're going to get started with. The news, the Mikel Moreno news came out yesterday, of course, and Fabrizio Romano and others have said that Atletico Madrid and Barcelona still think Mikel Moreno, both clubs feel that uh, to give their to uh, total priority yeah, sorry. Both clubs feel that Moreno is giving total priority to Arsenal. Moreno is on the list of targets for Arsenal and is highly valued. At the moment, there has been no direct contact between Real Sociedad, no uh, uh, concrete negotiations, but it could happen soon because Arsenal have positive exchanges with, on the player side. And the player is tempted to be in the Premier League. The player is tempted by Arsenal, very tempted by Mikel Arteta, and is considered the perfect coach for him and people close to the player. So Mikel Moreno does seem like it is going to happen. And the reason why we are saying it feels like it is going to happen is because Arsenal have reached an agreement over personal terms yet about almost uh, 16 hours ago. So Arsenal have reached agreement over personal terms, a four-year contract for Mikel Moreno. And the final step is to agree a fee. The most important step, I would say, is to agree a fee between Real Sociedad and Mikel, uh, and Arsenal. Mikel Moreno agreeing personal terms is one thing, but we just need him to actually agree the deal. Now, with that being said, we need to we need to uh, talk about Mikel Moreno. I think this guy is going to be an outstanding signing for us. Left footed, left uh, left footed midfielder that can play on the left side that can help us out massively. He can also play in a DM position if need be. He's physically imposing. He's quite big, and he has the passing ability. I don't know why people are saying these false claims that he's not a good passer. He is a good passer. It's just going to take a while for everyone to get used to him. As for now, do me a favor, hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, and let me know what you think about Mikel Moreno to Arsenal, as that looks like it's going to happen. Now, the next the next thing that the next thing that we need to talk about is is none other is none other than Calafuri. Calafuri is training with the Arsenal first team and he's going to be ready to, to be playing for them. This uh, this could be his debut versus Liverpool today. We could see Calafuri play against Liverpool today in Philadelphia and have his first preseason game with Arsenal, his first game with Arsenal, and it will be his debut uh, game versus Arsenal today. And that is quite exciting to say the least because I... I didn't think we were going to get Calafuri deal done so so um, so he would be part of the preseason. But him now being part of the preseason, we, he'll be ready for the beginning of the season for Arsenal. And this will just give us an advantage because Saliba might not be available to start the season. We need as many of our uh, as our first team defenders ready. And I'm quite excited to see what he can do versus Liverpool later today, going up against the likes of Mo Salah and others. Uh, and I think I'm pretty sure Mo Salah is going to be available for that game. So we're going to have to wait and see what happens with that. Now, uh, moving on to the next topic, there is some updates on Eddie Inketia. So, yeah, let me know what you guys think about uh, Liverpool Arsenal preseason game, by the way, tonight. Uh, it is a preseason game. I just want to see as many of those youngsters get opportunities. And as long as we we show a good performance, it doesn't matter. I don't care about the victories or losses in preseason, although I will banter if we beat them badly. Um, Next, um, Marseille have submitted an Im improved proposal for Eddie Nketiah worth near uh, 20 million uh, euros, which is a similar valuation to their previous approach, but uh, closer to a formula that Arsenal want, and Arsenal still likely deem the bid unrealistic. 
Interesting. This came from David Onstein. And also there's another update uh, on, on, on that before we go any further, that Marseille could continue to work a deal for Eddie Nketiah, but it remains that the conversation with Arsenal should strike a deal. Eddie Nketiah has uh, already agreed a five-year deal with Marseille and is keen to join the head coach, uh, Roberto De Zerbi. Interesting conversation there. Now, personally for me, if he does, if he does join the Zerbi and and Marseille, we were going to get a reasonable fee. So I would love Eddie Nketiah to be sold, and I, I hope he, I hope we do get this deal done because Eddie Nketiah for any amount of good, decent money, that's that's something that we can help strengthen our team with. And I don't think Eddie Nketiah has a future with Arsenal anymore, unfortunately for him. Um, next, Emil Smith Rowe's transfer to Fulham is expected to be announced today. Yes, so Emil Smith Rowe will officially be a Fulham player. Today, it is going to be announced today. His deal is done. He will be joining Fulham. It's quite sad, but you know what? These things happen and we have to move on in football. And it's just unfortunate that he couldn't make it at the club. Honestly, it is it is quite sad, but what can you do? You know what I mean? Um, this right here is actually insane. Cheeto Obi Martin, 16-year-old Arsenal Academy superstar, has been offered 15K a week for his professional contract for Arsenal. But Manchester United gladly doubled it and offered him 30K a week where he signed the deal. 30K a week, ladies and gentlemen, for a 16-year-old. I don't think you guys are fathoming how much money Manchester United threw at Cheeto Obi Martin, a 16-year-old. 16-year-old. And they have the audacity. They have the audacity to sit here and say, oh, the, it was Ruud van Nistelrooy that sealed the deal for Ars uh, for Arsenal. Uh, understood that Ruud van Nistelrooy directly held talks with Chiba Obi-Martin and presented him the Manchester United long uh, project for a long term. And van Nistelrooy was crucial in getting the green lights for Chido. And the deal is done and is set to be signed. Now, why is Chido Obi-Martin swapping from Arsenal to Man United? Well, they, they have given the most minutes to teenagers last season, giving them more than every single one of the top six clubs combined in 4,924 minutes. And Chido Obi-Martin, he wasn't going to get opportunity at Arsenal. Where over there, he apparently, they're, they're saying that he could be, he could be their third option. After Rathman, after Zerksky, Chido Obi Martin at the age of 16 will be Manchester United's third option for their striker position. So he's definitely going to get game time, especially with them being in the Europa League now. I do think he's going to get game time, and I understand why he would go, but I do think it, it had a big part to play with the money, not just the game time and, and, and the project. Because let's be honest, Arsenal's project is much more exciting, but you, as an academy player, you're not really going to get an opportunity at Arsenal. Where at Manchester United, you definitely will. So I hear it. No salt on a genuine level. I hear it. And I get why he would make that move. It does make sense for the player if he wants to have, if he wants to progress his career and he wants to move forward. But let's not act like the money didn't have a major part to play. He, he he's, six, he's 16 years old. He's getting life-changing money. That's like $1 million a year for a 16-year-old. Amazing wages. Amazing wages. You gotta get. You gotta give it to him. And and by the way, from a teenager perspective, Arsenal are like one of the worst at giving teenagers minutes compared to other teams. Just look at this. Just look at this. Look at this right here. You have Brighton, Manchester United, Burnley, Newcastle. Um, this was a couple years ago. Yeah, and Arsenal gave what thirteen minutes compared to Manchester United. It's safe to say it's probably better off that he left for his own career and the money that he's getting. Wish him all the best, but yeah, it is what it is. Overall, there's nothing else really to talk about Arsenal transfer-wise. That's why I did a quick update. Let me know what you guys think about Mikel Moreno. How do you feel about Chido Obi Martin going to Manchester United? Will you sell Eddie Nketiah for 20 million euros? And Kelly Fury, looking forward to seeing his performance tonight versus Liverpool if he does get some game time. That's it for now, guys. I'm out of here. Hopefully, you guys have a wonderful day, and I'm out. Peace.